Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? It has been a while since I've done a Disney haul and if you look on my channel I've done quite a few Disney hauls in the past year just because I tend to buy a lot of Disney things and people give me Disney things and people send me Disney things on a regular basis so every few months I like to make a video just, just showing those Disney things to you because I know a lot of you guys love Disney stuff as well so this is it, this is Disney haul number four I believe so yeah. Before we get into the video though there is going to be a giveaway at the end of this video so make sure you watch until the end of it and read the description for details on how to enter and stuff. Anyway, so the stuff that I'm going to show you is going to be from around June or July time up until now, so November. So quite a few months because it's been a while since I've done one. But yeah, let's let's get to it. The first two things I want to show you are mugs uh, and they're Toy Story mugs. As you guys probably know, Toy Story is my favourite film of all time. I absolutely love it. It's definitely my favourite Disney film slash Pixar film and also one of my favourite films ever. And when these came out, I just had to get them. Look at them. It's like... Um, a kind of sketch of Woody. I think it looks really cool. Very unique mug. I love it. And then I also got uh, the Buzz one because Woody is just not complete without Buzz, really. I also really love the design of Buzz on this one, so I just had to get them. So yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of mugs anyway, but I see for some reason I tend to collect them. I literally have no space to put them. But I just, I just had to get these, and they're really nice, and they were each. Eight ninety five pounds so yeah. On the Toy Story theme <laughs> that we're still talking about, the other day, about a week ago, there was a discount thing going on on the Disney store and I went on the Disney store without the intention of actually buying anything. I just wanted to have a look. I was like, let's go see what's available. And I saw this and I just had to get it. And you'll see when you, when you see it. <laughs> um, there it is. Ooh. It's a Toy Story a Christmas ornament, and I just think it's absolutely awesome. So it's Woody and Buzz with the rocket on RC Racer. It's, uh, if you know, if you've seen Toy Story, which obviously you will have, it's from one of the last scenes of the film. Uh, and it, I, it's just awesome. I cannot wait to hang this on our Christmas tree. I think it's amazing. And I, I just could not say no to this. The next item, for some reason, is also Toy Story related. <laughs> I wonder why. It's these uh, alien Tsum Tsums, which are very cute. I haven't actually taken them out of this little spaceship that they're in, uh, because I don't really, I don't know, like, they're attached here, as you can probably see. And I feel like if I take them out, like I'd quite like to take them out and put them on here, but then what would I do with the rocket? It would just be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? So I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Leave comments down below and let me know what you think I should do with them. But I think each of them have like, Slightly, a slightly different expressions, like this one in the middle has like an ooh expression, it's so cute. I love the aliens from Toy Story, I mean I love Toy Story anyway. I actually got this from Disneyland Paris uh, back when I went in September, so yeah. It's from Disneyland Paris, I only got, this is the only thing I got I think on that trip, it was a one day trip I went with my boyfriend Eddie. And um, yeah, it was 29.99 euros without my discount, but I got a discount, a 20 pound, 20% 20 discount. So it wasn't that bad and I just, I just really love it. Speaking of Disneyland Paris, uh, back when I went to Disneyland Paris in July of 2016, um, my friend Lisa, who I went with, she got me this, uh, which is really, really cute. So, uh, can you see it? Can you see it? It's a woody um, keyring. And obviously she knows that Woody's my favourite character, and you guys know that as well, and Toy Story's my favourite film, <laughs> considering all the other items before this. But um, yeah, it was just a really a just random purchase. We were staying at the Sequoia Lodge, and we went to the shop in, like, on our first day or something, and she saw this, and she was like, I'm just going to get you this. And I'm really grateful. I actually need to use it. I need to attach it to something, but I kind of don't want to, because you know when you like use keyrings on a regular basis, mine anyway, start to get dirty, and like after like a few months, they just don't look the same. Probably because my bag just has loads of things in it. But I don't know, I just really like it. It's really, really cute. Speaking of that trip, Disneyland Paris, as I said, we stayed at the uh, Sequoia Lodge Hotel, which I'd stayed at before. It was my second time staying in that hotel, uh, Golden Forest Room as well. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's a great hotel. I'm really glad I got to stay there again because uh, well, the first time that I went to that hotel, this is like a very irrelevant note, but in 2014, um, it, it, it that trip just wasn't one of my favourite trips when I went in 2014 and for some reason because we were staying at the Sequoia Lodge I was like in a really weird way I'd, connect, I'd, I'd connected it to the fact that I was at the Sequoia Lodge but obviously it had nothing to do with that I just wasn't a fan of that trip I wasn't happy I don't know um, in any case um, I'm glad I said again because I just dropped my uh, the thing I'm about to show you uh, because it was amazing I absolutely loved that hotel and Golden Forest Room especially if you go in the summer months I think it's completely worth it 
or if you go in the winter I'd say like during Christmas time or like over New Year's because it tends to get really really busy the parks so then if you if you go during busy periods then Golden Forest is completely worth it when we went in uh, November of 2014 the park was so quiet anyway that the fact that we had Golden Forest literally made no difference so I, I was I used to think oh my god what's the point of Golden Forest but obviously when you go and doing busy times which was quite busy when we went in July then it's worth it anyway besides the point I decided to get uh, Sequoia Lodge pins because now that I'm collecting pins <laughs> um, I've decided to you know collect the Disneyland Paris uh, hotel ones because I've been lucky enough to have stayed in every single hotel in Disneyland Paris apart from uh, oh, what's that stupid one <laughs> I say stupid one the Davy Crockett Ranch that's the one I've not stayed at only because even though that's a Disney hotel you don't get a free shuttle bus or anything from there to the park you have to be able to drive and I can't drive and even if I could drive I wouldn't have a car so it's just complicated so I've not stayed at that one but I've stayed at all the other ones so yeah, that's going to be a thing, me collecting all the pins from every hotel. I didn't actually um, end up buying one when I went to Cheyenne the other the other month in October. For some reason I forgot. Um, uh, but I will be doing that, don't you worry. And if you're wondering why I got two, one of them's for my friend Lisa, because it was her first time at Disneyland Paris and I thought it would be a nice way for her to remember it. For some reason I still have this, I've just forgotten to give it to her. It's been like four or five months, so yeah, Lisa, this is for you. On that same Disneyland Paris trip in July, I also got this uh, stitch uh, thing what do you call them? Straw? <laughs> this is also for my friend Lisa, again for some idiotic reason I haven't given it to her yet. It's probably because uh, a couple of weeks after that trip it was my birthday and so it was like she was giving me all these presents and I thought I'm gonna wait until after that has died down before I give her the little things that I've got her. I don't know, I think I've literally just forgotten. So actually Maybe I'll just give it to her as a Christmas present. Not the only Christmas present, but I'll like add it to her Christmas present. So hopefully Lisa won't be watching this. I'll just, this can be like an addition to her Christmas present. I've obviously got another present for her as well, but yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, Lisa loves Stitch and I, I saw that she was like looking at this whilst we were there. Like she was debating whether or not to buy it for herself. She was like, I don't know if I should, like, would it be stupid? Like, I don't know, but I really want it. And she was, she nearly bought it, but then she got distracted by other things that she wanted to buy for her family and stuff. And then I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy it for her. So yeah, this is going to be given to her. I think it's really cute anyway. I love Stitch as well so yeah it's a cute little thing we are going back into the toy story theme now um a couple of weeks ago i went to primark and i got these uh toy story pajamas which i haven't used yet as you can see but look how awesome they are these are the bottoms so it's woody it's so like my style as well because it's woody it's not even like the whole toy story theme it's just woody my favorite character and i love the cow print as well because cows are my favorite animals so i just thought it was really cool and uh this is the top bit of it which I also think is absolutely awesome because look at this bit here oh my god like it's, it's almost it's like Woody's just coming out of your pocket I just think it's so so cool um, I'm off to Disneyland Paris in a couple of days well tomorrow as you're watching this I'll probably be in Disneyland Paris so I'm probably going to take this with me just to feel even more Disney-fied whilst I'm there and I cannot wait to wear it there the next Disney slash Toy Story item I want to show you <laughs> I'm sorry guys, if you don't like Toy Story, you'll probably find this video very annoying, but Toy Story, I mean, is my favourite film, so, you know. Uh, a lovely girl called Vivi, who watches my videos and I speak to her on Twitter and stuff, uh, sent me these awesome ears uh, a couple of months ago, and as you can see again, they're Toy Story, so there's Woody here and there's Buzz here, I love the bow as well in the middle, it's very, like, it's very cowboy-y. And then that's the back of it. In the back you've got Jessie and Woody, as you can see. And I'm going to put them on because I think it looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, they're so nice. I shall leave her link down below, uh, Vivi's link. She does other ears as well. She also, I think, does like shoes and bags and stuff. She's very talented. So you guys can go and check it out if you want to. And, and you know, she's got other designs as well. So it's not just Toy Story. But I absolutely love these. I'm hopefully going to take these with uh, me to Florida next year because I'm definitely sure that I'm going to be meeting like Woody and Buzz and all those, loads of other Toy Story characters as well. So I'm there. So I think it'll be good for me to take them there. Speaking of ears, my friend Rebecca got me these tiny little <laughs> uh, Pinocchio ears uh, for my birthday again so this is back in July sorry this is taking me a long time to make this video but um, I absolutely love these as well they're very small like, the ears are very small but I think they're very cute and unique in their own way again I need to wear these at one point to Disneyland Paris because I think Disneyland Paris is the only place these days that you can meet Pinocchio uh, he's turned into a long lost friend in all the American parks for some reason 
I don't know why, but I love Pinocchio and uh, I think in, in a way this was like a jokey, like a half jokey present from Rebecca because uh, in February of this year when uh, we went to Disneyland Paris together, uh, one of those days, we had two days and the second day I think I was uh, Disney bounding as Pinocchio and you can watch the vlog if you want to on my channel uh, and my hope was to meet Pinocchio as I was Disney bounding as him. Unfortunately, on that one day, Pinocchio was didn't like wasn't out, he didn't come out, he was only on the parade. Literally the day before I'd seen him walk around, I'd seen him do a meeting with me, but I wasn't dressed as him, so I was like, I'm gonna wait until the next day to meet him. And so it just it just became a joke of me being Pinocchio and never getting to meet him and, and trying to meet him the whole day and just failing. So yeah, I love these ears, they're very cute. I love the little feather here. It's really, really cute. Uh, on the next note of Pinocchio again, uh, it's a tradition from Rebecca that every year for my birthday she gives me a Disney tradition and I just absolutely love it and um, oh, you can't see it but this one is Pinocchio again like I've, I've, she's given me Woody before she's given me Chippendale Minnie yeah I think that's it this is the fourth year that we've had this tradition <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do next year to be honest because it's, it's, it's fun as well because every year is like something relevant so obviously I love Woody I love Chippendale I love Minnie and that this year was the first year that was something really funny in, in a way as, as in, it was funny as well as being cute because I love I love uh, Pinocchio and also it reminds me of that trip that we went on together this is oh I love him Pinocchio is such a cool underrated character guys I think it's absolutely awesome look at it there he is and I'm so glad that I've opened it now because now I can finally now that I'm making this video I can finally put it on my shelf and uh, display it so there it is I just love this uh, this whole Disney tradition um, range I think it's awesome about a month ago I went to Camden this is a place in London if you don't live in the UK it's like a market it was a Saturday as well I hadn't been to Camden in a long time um, but I was surprised to see that they had quite a few Disney stuff there like obviously not actual official Disney merchandise but just Disney made things, I like think th Disney made art, if you may, if I may say. Um, and so I got myself this because I thought it was absolutely amazing. Uh, and you can probably see it's Pocahontas. And it's just, a, it's an art, it's an art piece of Pocahontas and I think it's amazing. Um, you guys know I love Pocahontas. I actually dressed up as Pocahontas for the Halloween soiree in Disneyland Paris this year and it was, it was amazing. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I just enjoyed wearing her wig and having my hair be all long and straight and just like literally feeling like I could paint with all the colours of the wind. But yeah, I got this besides the point and I think it's amazing. And I also got another one for my friend Ellie. Ellie Stedman, you all know her. Uh, hopefully Ellie won't be watching this but even if she does, it's fine. I'll probably give it to her in the next few days. A few days? No, a few weeks. I'll give it to her before Christmas anyway. Um, and this is it. It's The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. I know how much she loves uh, Beauty and the Beast. You guys know that as well. And I just, I saw this and I thought of her and I had to get it. So that's that. Um, I also got uh, something for my friend Rebecca. Speaking of Rebecca before, uh, it's, you know, Christmas is happening soon. And I got this for her last month. Uh, it's, again, not going to be her main Christmas present. It's just going to be part of her Christmas present. So hopefully Rebecca won't be watching this, but even if she does, it's fine because it's not going to be the main thing but as you guys probably know my friend Rebecca loves Peter Pan a lot and Tinkerbell is one of her favorite characters so I saw this and I had to get her because look at this we've got Peter Pan I just love the art design it's a mug by the way as you can tell so we've got Peter Pan here with the shadow and everything oh, so cool and on the other side we've got Tinkerbell and it's just such a cute design in my opinion and it's like it's a pretty cool like kind of standard uh, mug as well I don't know I just think it's really cool really cute and I just had to get it for her. Whilst we were in Camden I also found these two little things that I could not say no to uh, because I don't have enough Zootropolis, Zootopia merchandise um, and I just love that film. I've seen it two, like three, four times already and I can't wait to watch it again hopefully soon. It's such a great film. Leave comments down below if you agree with me. It's amazing. Um, and I love Nick especially. Nick, I think, is very handsome for a fox. Like, look at his expression. And when I saw these, like, I, I only wanted to get Nick initially but my friend who was with me, Arazu, she was like, you know, you have to get Judy as well. So thank you for being a bad influence on me. I'm joking. I'm so happy I got both of them in the end. She was, she was right. I couldn't have just got one. So there's Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde. And I think... I mean, they're like little purses, you can put your money in them, like coins and stuff. Um, I could actually use them to put my memory cards in them, because I use a lot of memory cards as somebody who does YouTube, literally, and I, it's hard to keep them all in the same place, especially when I'm not like, travelling as well, and I want to take them with me. So I might actually use one of them at least, to put my memory cards in them, because it's small enough for me to put them in and for them to not get lost, but we shall see. In any case, they're very, very cute. The next thing I want to show you is a bit of a jokey thing. Again, back in July, when it was my birthday, my friend Lisa uh, got me this as one of the jokey presents. You probably would have seen it, because I did vlog my birthday, so, you know, the vlog of my birthday trip. My birthday trip? No. My birthday situation, my birthday surprise, I think is what it's called, 
uh, is on my channel I'll leave it down below as well but um, we went to see Finding Dory because my Finding Dory believe it or not came out on my actual birthday my exact birthday 29th of July which is very cool and uh, she gave me this which was really fun <laughs> it's just like a jokey present it's like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner for children but it was funny also another thing that she got me was this so this is a uh, Hank and Dory pin and that's it. it really meant a lot to me this actually because she got this for me from Disneyland Paris when we went uh, and like the second week of July I think it was the 9th to the 11th of July we went um, and she she'd kind of I told her maybe a few weeks before like she'd come to, she'd been to mine and she'd seen that I'd been I'd started collecting pins and so I think she saw that and she knew that we were gonna go and see Finding Dory for my birthday and uh, she got it for me without me even realizing it so like it, it's crazy. I was so grateful when I opened it because it's just such a cute thing. It's from Disneyland Paris as well, and it's it's a great pin. I love Hank. He's, he's such a great character, and it just meant a lot to me to like open that just before we went to see Finding Dory. And I was like, oh my god, how did you get that? And I was like, oh my god, it's Disneyland Paris, and you actually got this from Disneyland Paris. It was amazing. It meant a lot, and I absolutely love it. Also, speaking of Disneyland Paris, uh, when we went in July, it was my friend Lisa's first time ever in any Disney park, which was so exciting to me. Like, it, it was just so much fun to take like someone who's never been to Disneyland Paris and experience it with them um, and so because of that I decided to get her a little mini it's not really little when you see it but um, I got her a mini before we went the night before we went and I gave it to her uh, and I got myself one as well because you had to like I got her one and I was like I kind of want one as well I don't really have a standard mini <laughs> I've got loads of other plushies but I don't have like a standard regular mini in her actual outfit so um, I got her one and I got myself one as well they're both the same she's obviously got hers and they're quite big as well I think they're medium on the Disney Store website and I personalised it so on hers I said obviously let, let's have a look at mine anyway because mine's here it just says Samar Disneyland July 2016 I think can you see that? yeah I just thought it'd be a cute memory but the main reason I did it was for her so on hers obviously it says Elisa Disneyland Paris July 2016 because I thought it'd be a good way for her to remember her very first trip to Disneyland Paris and now I'll just remember a, a very great trip to Disneyland Paris because I really loved that trip and the vlog of that is also going to be down below if you haven't watched it yet the next thing I want to show you we are nearly at the end of this vlog is um this awesome top thing which I got from Primark a few weeks ago it's I love the fact that it's like grey and black and it's kind of uh, subtle Disney if you like. It says Mickey Mouse on it, quite obviously, but I just love the stars. Stars, if you didn't know, are my favourite shapes and it's just so cute. I just love the stars pattern on them and the fact that there's little hidden Mickeys, I mean they're not really hidden, but it's like a mixture of stars and Mickeys on their Mickey faces and I love the silver and the grey. I just really, really love this and again, I think I'm going to take this with me uh, to Disneyland Paris when I go soon when i go literally tomorrow okay literally only two more items left we can do this guys but the next thing i want to show you is incredibly special and oh my god like you guys when you see it you're gonna be amazed <laughs> so a lovely girl called lou who watches my videos uh sent me a message a few months ago saying oh i, I make these personalized shoes and i really want to make you one would you like one and i was like oh my god that's one of the kindest things anyone's ever told me like sure especially because she paints them on vans shoes and vans are my favorite shoes some of my favorite shoes anyway i wear vans on a regular basis um and so yeah and she like it, it took her i think three or four weeks to make them and she sent them to me and I was like my jaw was literally on the ground on the floor I was like I can't believe how amazing these are so I need to show them to you um this is what they are oh my god like literally guys can you can you see how beautiful they are I cannot I can't even they're personalized shoes as you can see we've got Pocahontas here because she knows she literally obviously knew all my favorite Disney films and she was like I just her mind's incredible <laughs> I'm just so amazed. So she obviously made, she drew Pocahontas on one, uh, one shoe and then uh, Quasimodo from Punch Dragon Lodge down on the other because she knows that these two are two of my favourite Disney films. And then on the back, oh my god, look at this, it's the cutest thing, we've got Chip and Dale. Again, she knows that Chip and Dale are two of my favourite characters. So she decided to include them as well somehow. And then we in on the sides we've got the kind of Toy Story pattern, like Woody's like outfit pattern which is amazing as well as here as well with the cat oh it's just so clever oh I can't even I literally can't so it's literally like a mixture of all my favorite Disney films on a pair of vans which are my favorite shoes and the best thing look at the back it says Andy on them how amazing is that and she did this before the, like the Toy Story uh, van series has come out now in the USA and it's coming out in the UK in a couple of weeks but she made these 
like a few months ago before the Toy Story collection was out. So I just think it's incredible. It's oh, I cannot I can't get over them. And and even though I know that I can wear them, like she's she's uh, assured me that I can wear them outside and it's not gonna get damaged or anything. I just I just, I've just felt too scared so far because they're so pretty. I just like looking at them. But I'm gonna be wearing them soon as well. I'm definitely gonna take these with me to Florida. I think. And I'm just going to wear them everyday life because I think they're just really, really cool. Um, I'll leave her link down below. Her, I think her store is called Custom Shoes Made by Lou or something like that. She's got a Facebook link. She's got an Instagram link. I'll leave them all down below. She does loads of incredible designs and she can make personalised ones and on shoes. And oh, it's just incredible. You need to check her out. Her designs, her art is incredible. So make sure to check her out, please, down below. And then the last thing that I want to show you is also very, very special to me. It's also very, very big, so uh, this, guys, is it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while since I've held this. Um, I'm going to try and show it to you. I'm going to open it. Oh, it's just the nicest thing. Well, firstly, this is it. Firstly, inside. This is for my, also for my, from my birthday a few months ago in July. So uh, you, you might have seen this in my vlog as well. Like, I, again, I vlogged it, my birthday surprise. But here we've got, like, some... Uh, frozen decorations that you would have seen in the vlog that my friend Lisa got me and uh, just put up in her room. Oh, my phone just went off, sorry about that. And But then this is the best thing, like literally. <laughs> I've got a hot chocolate, I don't know how you can see it. I've got a hot chocolate uh, little bag thing, like a pamper bag. Uh, is that what you call them? I don't know, but it's like a hot chocolate. It doesn't look as nice now because it's been moved around. But again, if you want to watch the vlog, look at it because I was incredibly amazed. Like, again, it just I was just like, I can't believe you did this. Um, so we've got the hot chocolate, which is from Hotel Chocolat, one of my favorite chocolate brands. And then <laughs> this was the really cute thing. She got me this. Again, she'd got this from Disneyland Paris and I'd, I'd just assumed that it was for friends and family but she decided to buy them and include them in my uh, hot chocolate thing and it's just so cute. I've never had these before from Disneyland Paris. I've always got them or like things similar to this for like friends and family myself but I've never had them myself. And inside, you've got some cookies and biscuits and... Oh, like some these aren't, these are actually just regular uh, biscuits but you've also got Disney ones. I just think that inside looks so cute. Can you see it, guys? These are the Disney ones that you can get from Disneyland Paris. And there's different designs. You've got Pluto here. We had a really great, funny interaction with Pluto back in July um, at Cafe Mickey. So that's quite fun. And then we've got Mickey here. And then these are just normal, standard biscuits. Uh, she also <laughs> brought back some of the coins that we get, some of the chocolate coins that we got from Sequoia Lodge. Um, so that's a goofy one. I don't know how well you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, you probably can't. But I don't know, it's just very cute. And she's decorated with like pink little beauty nest stuff in it because she knows I love pink. And then, um, oh, the best thing though. We've, we've, we've got through all of that. And in fact, everything about this is amazing. But <laughs> I love the fact that she also, she also got me some Nutella. Nutellas? I don't know. Uh, from the breakfast at Sequoia Lodge because every day I, I was like enjoying the Nutellas and you know, it was just really cute. So she just got some and included them in this. And then we've got this. Oh, let me get to this. This is the cutest thing. So obviously I've got my hot chocolate, but I also need things to put in them. And this is just adorable, like, guys. So here, and she's written on them as well. So we've got some pixie dust. Can you see it? This says pixie dust on it, which is just like cute little sugary things. The middle one is stars and it says colors of the wind. Can you see it? because again for Qantas and I just love the colours of it, it actually looks like colours of the wind and it's little tiny stars and then this one is little tiny marshmallows and look at it it says Baymax Hugs I just it, it, this is is this not one of the most creative things anyone's ever done because to me I think it is I was just like I cannot believe you went through the effort of making these and it's just so cute and again as you can see I've not really eaten much from them because I just want to keep them but I will start eating I've, I've, I've had the hot chocolate on its own before and it is amazing but um yeah I just think it's so cute she also included a uh, kinder egg in my little box which I haven't actually eaten yet but even the kinder egg is Disney which I think is awesome it's Cinderella uh, but the best thing I think actually wait I keep saying the best thing but I've still not shown you some of the other stuff in here there's some other chocolates as well from Disneyland Paris which she'd got uh, a few weeks before my birthday and included them in there which I think is amazing I can't wait to have them so cute but yeah I think my favorite thing in this whole hot chocolate pamper box is this <laughs> 
again toy story theme but just look at it so it's a toy story mug as you can see we've got woody here we've got buzz here and it's just like a cool mug i've never really had a, a mug with both of them both of these characters on it but the best thing is oh you turn it round and oh my god is it gonna focus look at this guys this is this is me this is me with woody and lisa as well from our trip in july that is so cool and it says what does it say howdy something some are what does it say howdy space deputy i just think it's amazing <laughs> it's probably my favorite mug of all time i just absolutely love this because it was such a good memory as well meeting woody and for it to be on a mug, like, I just, I think it's the best thing ever. I absolutely love it. And I forgot to show you what's inside them, actually, which is also amazing. And it's this. And what does it say on it? Woody's favourite candy is what she's written on it, which is so cute. And when I first saw these, I was like, I don't know what these are. Are they Smarties? What are they? They're Reese's peanut butter, um little things candies or whatever which i've never had before like i've had reese's before chocolate but never in this shape and again if you watch the vlog you'll see how amazed that was they taste really nice if you like reese's chocolate if you like peanut butter you'd love this again i just thought the whole thing was so nice and creative of her and it's probably one of the best presents i've ever had so uh, i mean i've thanked her already but thank you lisa again for this incredible hot chocolate disney fi thing and speaking of lisa back when we went to disneyland paris in july of 2016 months ago um she decided to get this uh lovely beautiful tinkerbell mug which i think looks absolutely amazing like just look at it isn't it just beautiful i genuinely i think it's incredible and i don't even i'm not even the biggest fan of tinkerbell i just think it's a very beautiful design beautifully designed mug it's just very kind of nice and subtle she got this from a shop and later on she was like I don't actually think I necessarily need this and she was like Sam why don't you give it away to somebody and I thought I can give it away to one of you guys because firstly she like appreciates you guys a lot as well because she's been on my channel quite a lot so she was when I told her this she was like yeah that's like an incredible idea I'd love that and I obviously as well I, I think you guys are amazing this year especially I've just I've, I've had so many nice comments from you and, and and like just on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere and whenever I go on any Disney trips the love and the excitement and the comments that you give me every time I post a picture or anything just honestly adds to my experience and it added to our experience when we went in July it just made it all more exciting and fun and it just means a lot to me and especially because it's coming up to Christmas as well and because Tinkerbell is a very iconic character in my opinion um, you know from Peter Pan um, she's in Dreams as well she's like one of the stars of the of Dreams the Disney sh uh, show nighttime show which is going away next year <laughs> but anyway I thought I'd give it away to one of you guys uh, because I just it's, it's gonna be a very small way of me saying thank you to you um, so yeah the way for you to enter the competition to win this uh, basically is just leave a comment down below literally leave any comment you want down below um, any comment that I receive on this video I'll assume that you want to be entered to win uh, if you don't want to enter maybe say you don't want to enter but if you want to enter just you don't have to say anything just leave any kind of comment on this video and I'll um, I'll pick a winner by complete random uh, in the next couple of weeks I'll actually I'll say 1st of December so this is going up on the 24th I think of yeah 24th of uh, November so you've got about six days to enter and then on the 1st of December on Twitter I'll announce the winner or something and uh, I'll obviously message the person as well I won't make another separate video about this I'll just uh, um, message the person privately and send this to them so hopefully it'll be nice I'll obviously like write a nice card as well and say thank you to them uh, so yeah enter if you want to it's open to anyone who lives in Europe or the UK obviously because the UK is still a part of Europe <laughs> but unfortunately if you're in America or Australia or somewhere far away I'm gonna have to say that it's not gonna be happening like you can't enter on this particular occasion because just is too far <laughs> but yeah if you're in europe feel free to enter and yeah that is it that is the end of this massive haul it's been a long time coming i hope you guys enjoyed it uh thank you so much for watching i hope you're looking forward to my next disneyland paris vlog which will be coming out very soon from november from christmas time oh, it's gonna be amazing and obviously vlogmas as well i'm gonna be doing vlogmas this year so um leave a comment or a like if you're excited for that and i'll see you next time bye